Welcome back everybody to lesson two in this FS Academy Interceptor series. This lesson is called Turn Control. Let's jump in. We initiate our flight over the Channel Island of Jersey holding steady at an altitude of 2,000 feet. We can still glimpse the ground below, but as the mist enshrouds the horizon, the comforting presence of an external view is slowly fading. Continue straight ahead at 2,000 feet, and we will introduce the fundamental instrument scan. Maintain heading west. When instrument flying, precision is key. Hence, we will encourage strict tolerances from the very beginning. We start in the straight and level attitude, with wings level and the nose just above the horizon line at 2.5 degrees. This puts the orange pitch dot at the centre of the AI between the horizon and the 5 degree line. With a cruise power setting of around 2,300 RPM as seen on the tachometer, the result is straight and level flight. In this configuration, only small and smooth correction should be needed which we monitor with our instruments. The instrument panel displays a broad and diverse array of information, which may initially seem daunting. As we can't monitor every instrument simultaneously, we instead utilize a scan pattern. At the core of the instrument scan pattern is the attitude indicator. This is where we prioritize our attention. We start at the AI, then glance across to check another instrument, before returning home to the AI. For example, move your gaze downwards from the AI to your heading, before again returning to the attitude. Next comes the airspeed indicator, and once again returning home to the AI, before continuing on to other instruments, like the altimeter. This will be the basis of your straight and level scan technique, so put it into practice right away so that it becomes second nature. This T formation of instruments represents our primary flying references when maintaining straight and level flight. Keep flying west at 2,000 feet using the T scan pattern. Keep the heading indicator in your scan, returning us to our starting heading of 270 degrees. So that's the straight and level attitude and the T scan pattern. When performing a turn, we modify our scan pattern to suit our task. For a turn, we first use the AI to precisely set the desired bank angle. Then we continue to scan, centered on the AI as before, but now giving extra attention to the altimeter. We monitor our altitude during the turn, then shift our awareness to our heading indicator as we start to near our target heading. We want to perform rate 1 turns for all our major turns when flying IFR. Rate 1 gives a change of heading of 3 degrees per second. The bank angle required to achieve this is dependent on our speed. Take 10% of our airspeed and add 7. This gives a bank angle guide for a rate 1 turn. We will be generally flying at around 95 knots indicated airspeed, so 10% plus 7 gives us approximately 17 degrees of bank. As the first bank index along the top of the AI represents 10 degrees and the second 20 degrees, we will place our orange roll pointer between the first and second marks to achieve 17 degrees. Using the AI, make a left roll to a 17 degree bank angle. Maintain this bank angle continuing to use the attitude indicator as the foundation of your scan, while increasing awareness of your altimeter to ensure level flight. Now keep this bank angle, maintaining the orange bank indicator at the top of the AI, between the first and second white marks. Aeroplanes have positive roll stability, meaning it will want to gently return to wings level in a turn. Make sure to keep just a very light roll input on the controls to keep the bank angle maintained. You will also likely need a light nose up pressure to avoid losing altitude now that we are in a turn.
Get a little more bank. See how the left wing tip of our aeroplane on the turn coordinator touches the white mark. This indicates a successful rate one turn. By setting and holding 17 degrees of bank on the AI, our rate of turn naturally follows. So good. Roll out on heading 270, indicated as west on our directional gyro. Alright. Anticipate the rollout, bringing the heading back into your scan, starting to smoothly level the wings with about 10 degrees of turn remaining. Now level the wings to resume the straight and level attitude. Make any minor corrections now to ensure an accurate heading 270 in the straight and level configuration at 2,000 feet. Avoid the common error of gaining altitude after rolling back to wings level. Drifting a little bit. Keep your heading in your scan as we have drifted from 270. What the hell? Why are you going down? We will now try to turn there in the go. opposite direction. Start a rate one turn to the right, again with 17 degrees of bank. Once again, for a turn, the AI and altimeter have main priority. Accurate 17 degree bank angle. We're going to roll out this time on heading 310 degrees. Remember to anticipate the rollout by about 10 degrees. Right, a little more bank. Increase awareness of the heading indicator in your scan as we near our rollout heading. Yep, I see it. Use the AI to roll back to the straight and level attitude once again on heading 310. All right, there we go. Again, watch for any gain in altitude. Simplify attitude flying on instruments by reducing our pitch and roll targets to only a handful of desired positions. In terms of roll, except for minor corrections, our wings should either be level or at a rate one bank angle. If you look to your AI and see something other than this, ask yourself why and make a smooth correction to regain your target. Solidify the scan pattern in your mind. Remember to scan the T of instruments, but in a turn, Increase importance of the altimeter, then shifting this to the heading as we near our rollout target. This adaptability underpins everything that we will do going forward, so this should be deeply ingrained into your instrument flying skill set. We will be setting and maintaining very specific headings and tracks throughout our instrument flying, so we will now make another turn to an exact heading. Make a rate one turn to the left to precisely 156 degrees. 156. Here we go. Once again, the AI remains at the core of your scan, but pay extra attention to the altimeter at first. Later, we increase awareness of our heading as we near our rollout target of heading 156. As always, start to roll wings level with about 10 degrees of turn to go. Very difficult because I cannot get this thing to stay level at all. Keep the bank angle.
locked at some Kind of fighting it. One, five, six. Roll back to wings level on heading one five six. Whilst our attitude remains key, we can adjust our focus of other parameters depending on our task. We will next introduce changes in altitude and see how our scan pattern priorities shift. Excellent work. All right, well, that one, that was good. Uh, the only issue is I I can't get, um, I couldn't get this thing to stay straight and level. I couldn't, I've tried multiple trims. Let's set for a second, didn't work. So I was constantly fighting that. But other than that, did good. All right, everybody, thanks for following along. We'll catch you on the next one.